I'm ready to take them down. Look at my freaking hairline. <laughs> Hey curl friends and welcome back to a another natural hair video. I am so so sorry if this audio sounds really really weird. I'm actually holding the mic today. I'm still getting used to this new setup but I wanted to come to you guys with a takedown video. It is about that time y'all. I am sick of these braids. I'm ready to take them down. Look at my freaking hairline. It's just time, y'all. I know I could probably just like redo the front or whatever. My hair has grown out of these braids. I move with these braids. I sweat it in these braids. It's just time for them to go. I'm so ready for this pamper wash day. This is a two day process for me. I'm starting on a Friday. So tomorrow morning when I get up, I'll go through my wash day routine with you guys, the pre poo and all of that stuff so we can see if I got any damage from these braids and what the final verdict is. As far as my experience before I get into the takedown, I absolutely love these braids. I love the break that it gave me. I love the versatility that it gave me. It was just like the perfect timing to install them in the middle of moving. Only thing that I would do different is I really want to get black or brownish looking braids. Something that's more to my own natural hair color. I feel like those look extremely natural because when you think of a black woman in general, <laughs> we usually have dark hair. So I see a lot of girls with the darker hair extensions and they just look super, super gorgeous. So I do want to reinstall these again but in all black or my braiding hair color I believe is a four it might be about a two now because my hair did get a little darker but yeah all in all I love the experience I absolutely loved it I got my little playlist going and we're gonna get straight into cutting out these braids <laughs>
before we get started with our wash day i'd like to turn this entire experience into a pampering routine taking down your braids girl is just so refreshing it feels amazing so i like to just pamper my entire body i'm going to start with my hair by starting off with a pre-poo i like to mix a mixture of an oil as well as a heavy oil like a coconut oil the unrefined version that way it's nice thick and chunky and i just pretty much mix about two tablespoons of the coconut oil with about one to two teaspoons of an oil of your choice today i am using this hemp oil i like to use a pre-poo for something like box sprays or knotless sprays any kind of protective style that you've had in for a while i love using a thick pre-poo mixture like this because it helps to pretty much slide all of the dirt out of your hair off of your scalp and allow that shampoo to really really penetrate without a whole bunch of tangles and matting pre-pooing with this kind of buildup is key y'all absolute key but you want to start off on detangled hair or else that wet hair will end up matting and tangling like no other Now that my hair is complete I'm going to go ahead and just dump the residue of this mixture onto my scalp just to help to lift up all of that build up and dirt around my hairline and my scalp itself up off of my scalp I just want to make this a super super easy wash day so while my hair is deep treating I'm going to go ahead and go in with my pamper routine I've been trying out these two products from plant apothecary guys I was sent these products over complimentary from plant apothecary and y'all these are game changers like these are all natural products y'all know I have been into them this entire month I've been trying to get into more organic products more natural products with less chemicals my entire body is extremely sensitive y'all know my skin is bad <laughs> but I've been trying these out so you guys just saw me use the wash your face which is pretty much just a face wash it really has nothing in it y'all it's just tons of like natural ingredients and oils things that you can find in your own natural hair products they're paraben free sulfate free no kind of crazy chemicals in them and then I go in with my calm down body wash honey I love these names they're just so cute so when I'm in the shower rinsing my hair, I allow my conditioner to set on my hair and then I just kind of work on my body. This calm down body wash y'all is life. It literally will put you to sleep. It has a lot of aromatherapy oils in it. It is pretty amazing, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This is my takedown routine. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.